So for Maitland Christian School, the journey of uh, the Literacy and Numeracy Action Plan has been one that's really exciting, but at the same time confronting, uh, I suppose if we revisit our early days in the 2011 data and we look at some of these things, if, you know, for one section of the school we're seeing reading growth 40% below state average and uh, numeracy growth 15% below. Now that, they're, they're confronting figures because that's just not data, that's children's lives. And uh, I suppose the, excite, that the confronting thing is being uh, asked to consider data like that. And uh, they're difficult conversations as school leaders, as teachers, um, and took a lot of courage for us to review. But uh, as we look now at the end of the program, you know, to look at that same section of the school and see that reading growth is 84% above the state. Um, numeracy growth is 9%, and again, an average growth of 37% above the state. It's just, it's, it, it's empowering, it's moving, because it's not data, it's children's lives that have been changed. Through the LNET funding, Maitland Christian School has implemented an approach called explicit direct instruction. Uh, it is a systematic and highly effective way of teaching. Explicit direct instruction gives a series of supports to the students as they are guided through their learning. Students are given clear statements of where they're going through learning intentions and success criteria. There are lots of strategies that we use when we implement uh, explicit direct instruction in the classroom. We use whiteboards, these help students' engagement, but it also helps the teacher check for understanding and make sure that every child uh, has understood the concept that's being taught. We use group responses and uh, choosing of non-volunteers. This helps with the engagement of students. We use warm-ups to help transfer the knowledge and skills that the students have learnt into long-term memory. We use a method, uh, I do, we do, you do. So the teacher will uh, give an example first and will demonstrate it to the students. They will then do it, the students and the teacher will work together on a problem. And then once the teacher is fully uh, confident that the students are aware of what they're doing, the students will have a go independently. In kindergarten, we teach reading using an explicit teaching framework. This framework is evidence-based and we have achieved amazing success with our students. We teach reading using phonics and phonics refers to the individual letter sounds that make up a word. As a result of teaching them this way, the students are now equipped with the knowledge and skills they need to be able to blend and decode a wide variety of age appropriate texts and their reading fluency and their progress is coming along in leaps and bounds. Because explicit direct instruction is so fast paced and engaging of the child and keeping them focused, there's no room for them to muck up there's no room for them to speak out and disrupt the class. So the whole group of children are moving along at a similar pace. The teacher is in control of the classroom. When there's less behavioural issues, they're learning better, and then you're seeing the results of that at home. The implementation of instructional coaching in our school has been one of the most significant factors in helping to improve teaching and learning at Maitland Christian School. One-to-one -one coaching has enabled every teacher to receive positive feedback for their strengths, as well as support and goal setting for areas to work on. One of the biggest things we've seen with instructional coaching is the change in culture in our school, where we've really had this sense of shared learning. We're on this journey together, and it's just been so encouraging to see our staff see themselves as lifelong learners, and now teachers willingly open up their classrooms for walkthroughs, for parent observations, for formal coaching sessions and they say they want to learn and they want to improve and they really are and it's developing a beautiful culture in our school. My confidence and ability has developed through many professional development opportunities that I've had at this school. I've been to Perth and went to Dianella Primary School and was able to watch best practice there and was able to bring that back into my own classroom. Uh, we started slowly changing small bits of our teaching and then gradually adding strategies and getting better at teaching with the new um, concepts rather than try and do it all at once. Once we became familiar with those strategies and being able to teach to a new model, uh, teachers started to implement those strategies in other uh, key learning areas rather than just in maths and literacy so that they could change the way that they teach completely, not just about one subject area. Sustainability is our focus now, trying to keep in place the things that we have already begun. New staff coming to join us will need to be trained in the new strategies. Casual staff will need to be brought up to speed on the way that we teach things in MCS. We have coaching in place which will help those of us who have already been trained stay focused and keep our 
our uh, teaching at a really good quality. We intend to keep all these things going as we go into the future so that we can continue the great work that we've begun.